Problem 6. A uniformly, ch uniformly charged insulating rod of length 22 cm is bent into the shape of a semicircle as shown in the figure below. The rod has a total charge of negative 9 microcoulombs. Find the electric potential at 0, the center of the semicircle. Okay, so with electric field, you immediately think, oh, electric field is to the right because of symmetry. Not the case here. So, for heat this time, we're going to look at electric potential. Once again, we're talking about scalars. So, equals K Q over R, which in this case, K is going to be K. Q is going to be negative 9 negative 9 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs and they give us that we have a 22 centimeters so this is 0.22 so we need to turn this 0.22 into a radius all right so we know that circumference equals 2 pi r of a circle so if we have half a circumference we're going to have half of 2 pi r which will just be pi r therefore r equals the length circumference over 2 which we know is 0.22 over pi so this length right here is going to be 0.22 over pi so then down here I'm going to write this as 0.22 over pi but since we're Therefore, we're going to be dividing by a fraction. We're going to multiply by reciprocal, i.e., put the pi on top. Put the pi on top. All right. So now, geez, I think all we do now is Wolfram. Heck yeah. They want, yep, they want a real answer too. So k in this case is going to be 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. So, simplify this a little bit times 10 to the negative second, give it a decimal point, give it the equals for now, put this guy on top, this is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth, 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, there we go, 8.99 times negative 9 times 10 to the fifth, divided by 22. Ah, forgot the pi. Forgot the pi. Negative 1.15 times 10 to the 6th. 1.15 times 10 to the 6th, positive 6. Negative 6, positive 6. There we go. And they want it in <coughs> megavolts? Megavolts. So, 10 to the 6 is mega. And then this is going to be joules per coulomb. So it's going to be negative 1.15. Negative 1.15. Okay. Negative 1.15. All right. So looking at this intuitively real quick. <clears throat> so the test charge that we bring from infinity to determine uh, potential energy, uh, to determine uh, electric potential. Uh, electric potential, potential energy uh, difference. So we take a positive charge from infinity, move it to there. Positive is going to be attracted to negative. So we're actually going to... Uh, it's going to be easy for us to move from infinity to this point. It's actually going to be attracted to the negatively charged insulating rod. So it's going to take us negative energy to actually do it, which makes sense. All right, that's all for number six. On to number seven.